Hey everyone, how's it going? So, bringing you guys another unboxing. I know a lot of you guys are like, wow, you know, this is like the main event. Well, it's not that I've been buying, you know, well, I actually have. I have been buying a lot of games lately, but I've been saving on a lot of games lately. And today we're going to be unboxing Binary Domain. Um, got this from Newegg, as you can see, packaging. Got this from Newegg and bought it brand new for $45 with free shipping. So, See, I already opened it. I'm preparing. And it is the PlayStation 3 version. Alright, and yeah, I'm super excited to try this game out. I've been waiting for it for quite some time. Probably, I probably didn't become uh, too aware of it until probably December, I would say, December of uh, 2011. You know, and it kind of just caught my attention with its unique graphical style um, and, you know, the gameplay and everything like that. So, uh, it's made by Sega. Made by Sega, guys who made the Yakuza series, so that's pretty cool. Here's the front, um, pretty generic. It's a side. All right, and then we got some text here, which uh, I'll go ahead and just read. Um, I'm trying to get this to focus nice. It says, "Where does machine end?" 2080 AD, Tokyo, Japan. The Amada Corporation breaks Geneva Code Clause 21 by creating humanoid robots that believe themselves to be human. These so-called hollow children have infiltrated the human population, blurring the lines between man and machine. Dan Marshall and the rest of the and the rest crew are attacked are tasked to find uh, Amada at all costs. Will the team's human bond be their greatest strength, or will they fall to the machines? So, and then it says, where does machine end and humanity begin? We've got some nice art there. Uh, looks like a huge robot and like your squad attacking it. Let's just say right there. Earn your squad's trust and be rewarded in battle. Analyze each enemy type and efficiently dispose of them. And take the battle online with up to 10 players. It does actually have 10 player um, multiplayer, um, which is pretty cool, I think. I like that. There is some co-op also in the game. Um... I believe there is. And there's your, I guess, different, uh, you know, stats. I'm blanking out right now. And then, as you can see, multiplayer, lobbies, matchmaking, messaging, friend, invite game, all that stuff right there. And then supports DTS or digital surround sound, so that's pretty cool. Then that's the rating. Anyway, let's get into the game. La la la. There we go. Yeah. I was going to actually, um, I was thinking about getting this on Xbox, but uh, I got Mass Effect 3 on Xbox, and if I buy this on Xbox, well, it's probably going to be waiting for a long time because Mass Effect 3 is going to be taking up probably a lot of time in my life. But nonetheless, that's that. So, binary domain. Let's zoom in a little bit more. And let's open it. Uh, smell the new game smell. Mmm. Yeah, I love it. So here's our game disc. We could go play this right away. Can't wait. And then here's our what looks like a manual. Is it really a manual? Huh. It's a black and white manual, but it's pages. In, in today's society, that really counts. And then an ad for Yakuza Dead Souls. Which is like a zombie game, I think, yeah. Anyway, yeah, that was Binary Domain. I can't wait to play this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump online, and then I'm basically playing this. Uh, I have been playing a little bit of Syndicate and uh, The Darkness 2. Um, I'm pretty much enjoying Syndicate as well. I'm, I'm enjoying the game a lot, and um, the same thing with Dark The Darkness 2. I'm really um, I'm surprised at the uh, story and the emotional side of it, so... What I'm hoping to do is beat Darkness 2 and Syndicate this weekend. Binary Domain will probably take me up until Tuesday. Actually, Tuesday I'm busy because the new game mode for Uncharted 3 comes out on Tuesday. So, got to find some time for that. And, uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. And I will uh, see you later.